Thank you, Lord. Well, listen, I want to read you a scripture here. This is this is where we got our name from. John 6, 63. Jesus says this. He says, it is the spirit who gives life. He says, the flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. So you know how you're... You know how you know that you're hearing a real word from God? It begins to produce life in you. It begins to produce something in you. And as a, as a house, we're going after the culture of life. We're going after a culture of honor, where we honor one another. You know, how many of you are, you don't have to raise your hand, but how many of you have ever been offended or wounded in the church because of backbiting or gossip or slander or whatever? And, and listen, here's the thing. In a culture of honor, there's no room for that stuff. Because in a culture of honor, what are we doing? What we're doing is we're honoring one another, we're encouraging one another, we're building one another, and we focus on that. That's the kingdom of God. The kingdom is built on, on people having relationship and building that relationship with hope and life. And so I just wanted to just kind of introduce a little bit to you of what we're about because, and of course I don't have time to do all this this morning, there's just way too much stuff to do, but <clears throat> there's plenty of churches in San Antonio and we don't want to just be another church. We're really going after something that we feel is a commission from God to redefine church. So if it's a little different than what you're, you're accustomed to, it's okay. Because there's nowhere in the Bible where it says you have to have three fast songs, three slow songs, an offering, and then a 45-minute message. There's nowhere in the Bible where it says any of that. And nowhere in the Bible where it gives us an outline of here's how you have to do church or here's how you have to do things. So that's good, isn't it? We have freedom in the spirit. 